you know, I started my business in 1999. I had my idea, which was a niche product, but eventually you get to the point where you have to sell Me Too products. Um, the customers want to buy from one, um, one supplier. So let's talk about an application where how you can differentiate yourself with a Me Too product. So I had a great story for you. I was at a Cubs game in the bleachers, this is probably 15 years ago, and uh, there's a bunch of beer vendors out there. There's 10 of us. I went with 10, uh, 10 other guys. Our softball team went out there. And it's every, every beer vendor, you know, hits the thing, uh, beer here, beer here, cold here. There was one guy in particular, though. He would come down. Remember, we all have the same resources. Back then, he used to buy a case of beer. I think he made, told me he made a quarter of beer on what he sold. Everything else was tips. So he is driven to get tips. It's the only way he makes money. Um, so he would actually go down, buy a case of beer, and then sell it. That's, that's, that was his business. So everybody had the exact same resources, exact same beer, coming from the exact same place with the exact same audience. So how did he differentiate himself? So he comes down the aisle, and he says, he says hey, beer, beer here. Beer's just not for breakfast anymore. Next time he comes down, he says, beer here. Who needs a beer? sandwich who's hungry for a beer beer is food uh, the next time he came down if you got athletes foot rub beer on your feet and he constantly had a new line that differentiated himself what happened was the audience got such a kick out of him that we waited for him to come and we only bought beer from him and I went and I talked to him and I said, how, you know, how did you come up with all this stuff? He said, listen, Scott, he said, I make a quarter of beer. He goes, you can't make a real living on a quarter of beer. He goes, I had to differentiate myself. He goes, everybody's buying from the same place. I just thought of doing different things. He goes, once I started doing this, people started liking me and my tips got bigger. So it goes to show you that even if you have the exact same resources or you're selling the exact same product, eventually you're gonna to have to do that to complete your line. There are ways to differentiate yourself. And I thought this guy was brilliant. I actually went and sourced him out between innings and found him and asked him how he got this done. He said he makes three to five times the money as any other beer vendor at Wrigley Field just because he comes up with these crazy, crazy sayings. And you gotta give the guy credit, right? The same resources, this is what entrepreneurs need to do. We need to find ways to differentiate ourselves from other people and when you, even if you have a Me Too product, there's always a way to do something different. People buy an emotion. We bought on an emotion. His, his beer was the same price as the, guy, the other guy, but we waited for him. We generally bought a whole case off of him, so he liked us, so he came back. And we gave him a huge tip. It's just the way we did business. So when you guys are out there and you don't think you have an edge, find an edge. Because if you don't find an edge, people will just go to the cheapest product. Thank you.